Moto 360 is undoubtedly the most anticipated smartwatch of all time and there's a very good reason for that. Not only does it have top notch features but it also looks exceptional. As the watch isn't out yet, I just wanted to go through some of the specs and leaks of this de device. As always, all the li links will be in the description. Just before I started, I start, I just wanted to mention something very important. The famous leaker Evlix, who's been re um, leaking tech stuff from last couple of years, has Ill has become ill recently, and there's an Indiegogo campaign. I'll leave the link in the description to help him with his medical costs. So if anyone interested, just hit the link in the description. Okay, back to the Moto 360. The watch looks absolutely stunning from top to bottom and it's blemish free. The circle watch face adds, adds to its attractiveness. The OnePlus One is also working on a circular um, watch. I'll try to put some pictures in the video too. The straps will be made out of genuine leather or metal depending on the different models and it will be interchangeable. There's a button also on the side that makes the watch look more classical. The mic on the other side will allow you to use Google Now and also communicate with the watch. The body of the dial will be made out of stainless steel and the glass will be made out of sapphire glass which is much stronger than Gorilla Glass used on most phones nowadays. The black bar at the bottom of the dial is actually the display drivers and also contain ambient light, sen ambient light sensors which will help the device adjust to brightness automatically. It's rumored to have an OLED display which consumes less battery on uh, on black on black backgrounds than LCD due to being able to turn off individual pixels. The dimensions of the watch: the thickness is going to be 13.5 millimeters, and the dial's diameter will be 38 millimeters. Motorola Moto 360 is not much larger than the LG G watch, like previous rumors suggested, as you can see from the picture. The OS operating system, sorry, the operating system, the software, and the compatibility of the watch. So the Moto 360 will run on Android Wear, an OS specifically made for wearables by Google. Android Wear mainly revolves around Google Now and notification cards. Google Now will be similar to how it runs on the phone. And you, can, you can use it to send text, set a reminder or just search something. Notification cards will also work like how it works on the phone with a few additions such as displaying, displaying text, calls, reminders and weather. I know some of these are also included, uh, some of these are also on phones too. So due to the screen being small, typing can be tedious, although developers are making keyboards. The watch will be connected to your smartphone via Bluetooth, syncing all your notifications in real time. The Moto 360 is compatible with all Android phones with Android 4.3 and above and won't be restricted to Motorola phones. Moto 360 can be worn on the left and right hand as the display will adjust accordingly. It also has motion detectors which will wake the, which will wake the watch when you twist your wrist. Battery and wireless charging. So the Moto 360 will support wireless charging and will roughly stay alive for 3-4 to four days um, before the next charge on light use. On heavy use it will take roughly about 2.5 two days roughly. It also is it's also IP67 certified, which means it's water and dust resistant, and heart is and it's also got heart rate monitor and pedometer, which health apps can take advantage of. Pricing and availability. So the Moto 360 will come this summer, starting from US, and then the rest of the countries will follow. The price is still unknown, but judging from the premium materials, wireless charging, and the sapphire glass, I'm guessing it's going to be 300 to 350 dollars. So if the motor if Motorola get the price right, I think they have a chance to make a lot of money as it will attract public in general and not just the tech community. So that's about it guys. Um that's a roundup of Moto 360 before it's released. I'm I'm just very excited and I can't wait to see when it's officially released. Let me know what you guys think of this kind of video my first time. Hope you guys liked it. Links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.